Hello, my sweet summer children. Now look, the Rona has a lot of people in lockdown. Not me, because I'm a healthcare worker. Fuck! But I see a lot of people going a little crazy. Like, you don't know what to do with yourself. So I'm here for you. I got you. I'm going to give you some shows and movies that you absolutely should watch while you're staying safe from the corona. The first show you should absolutely watch is Game of Thrones. This is a no-brainer, and most of you that, like, subscribe to my channel, you've already watched it. But maybe you're new here, and you haven't seen Game of Thrones. You could pretend that Game of Thrones ends at season six, or you could watch it all the way through if like you end up liking Jon Snow, Bran Stark or actually any of the Stark children besides Rickon like if any of them become your favorite you'll probably enjoy all eight seasons. Better's battles and dragons and the best CGI you will ever see on TV. The second show I recommend you probably haven't seen if you're under 25 and that is The Wire. Actually I don't know you might probably not have seen it. The Wire. The Wire. You gotta keep the devil way down in the hole. Yeah, it's a series about how fucked up Baltimore is. Actually, it's a series about how fucked up the institutions in Baltimore are. If you didn't know, I'm from Baltimore. Hey, how you doing? But yes, it showcases Baltimore, the police, courts, education, politicians, everything, all while following a drug ring that operates in West Baltimore. The Wire is literally the best show ever, and it was way ahead of its time. It came out in 2002. It has Idris Elba in it. I mean, like, just fucking watch it. The next show you should watch is Euphoria. Euphoria is quite possibly one of the most fucked up shows I have ever seen in my life. It's about like high school age kids. One of them, Rue, played by Zendaya, is a full blown junkie. This show is graphic. It's not for the faint hearted Karens of the universe. If you have kids, it will probably freak you out because it's exploring a lot of issues that teenagers go through and how they deal with it. When Euphoria season one aired, I sat in front of my TV faithfully every Sunday just like with Game of Thrones. The next show you should watch is American Horror Story and not because we're fucking living in one but because it's an amazing series. Each season is a different horror story. So season one is a murder house in like Hollywood and it's a house with a dark ass history. Season two is like an insane asylum with demons and aliens. Season three which is my favorite season is The Coven which is a witch coven in New Orleans and just like Jessica Lange bitch and Angela Bassett girl Marie Laveau season four is a freak show season five is a haunted hotel that's most definitely based on the Cecil hotel season six is Roanoke I didn't really like that season season seven is the cult didn't really like that season either season eight the apocalypse really love that season that's about the apocalypse and season nine 1984 pays major homage to like 1980s slasher films and it takes place at a summer camp I love it I think you'll love it if you watch it so while we are in the creepy shit um Black Mirror Black Mirror I have watched every fucking episode of Black Mirror I absolutely love it each show is a standalone drama it's kind of like the Twilight Zone it's definitely low-key sci-fi and like a modern world one of my favorite episodes is Nosedive and it follows a girl around in like this futuristic society where basically your social media followers and likes are like your credit score so like if someone doesn't fuck with you they can give you a thumbs down and it actually affects your real life like where you live like you can get kicked out of your apartment if your follower likes go beneath a certain it's crazy it explores all the kinds of technology that could exist and it exploits the paranoia that people have with shit like Alexa and self-driving cars it's really 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 good and it will keep you entertained during this lockdown so while I'm on this topic another show you should watch is Westworld and I'm going to be completely honest here I have a love and hate relationship with Westworld my man he is actually a huge 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 fan of Westworld and I watched it with him so on my own I tried to watch it twice and I couldn't really get 
into it. But he explained a lot of stuff to me. And then I finally got it. And I ended up loving the first season of Westworld, hating the second season. I ab- I was absolutely confused by the end of the second season. But the third season so far is really good. And I love the ideas that it's exploring humans being robots and robots being human or more human than humans mind control and all that fuckery. I mean, I think you'll like it. American Gods. So you should watch American Gods. The first two seasons of American Gods are already out. Neil Gaiman, fucking genius author. The show is based on his book, but check it. American Gods is a series that is in present day America, but there is literally a war between old gods and new gods. The old gods are like Odin and Anubis, stuff from legends and lore and myth. These old gods were gods that were brought to America by slaves and immigrants, their religions and cultures, and their stories have like just been passed down through generations after generations, but they're fading because new gods have emerged. Media and technology and Wi-Fi and shit. And it's amazing. It's an amazing show. And that's all I'm going to say about it. Now, if you like Game of Thrones, because I know a lot of you guys like Game of Thrones, that's your jam. So I'm going to give you a couple of shows right now that you can watch that you will probably like. So you have The White Princess, The White Queen, The Spanish Princess. All of those come on stars. They're all about the War of the Roses and the aftermath, which Game of Thrones is based on. You can also watch The Tudors on Netflix, which is the life of the whore king of England, King Henry VIII. You can also watch Rain. Rain is about the life of Mary, Queen of Scots. Look, all of these shows, The White Princess, The White Queen, The Spanish Princess, The Tudors, and Rain, they are loosely based on history, but they are more so dramas, and they're kind of like liberal with the history, but they're damn sure not documentaries, okay? Not by any means, but they are definitely enjoyable, and they're something that can keep you occupied and keep you from going outside, staying safe, staying social distancing, all that. So while we're here, you should also watch The Witcher. The Witcher is by far one of the best new series on Netflix at the moment. The Witcher, Geralt of Rivia, is a monster hunter roaming through a land where witches and elves and all kind of magic exists. The Witcher often gets compared to Game of Thrones, but The Witcher is way, 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 way more of a high fantasy show than Game of Thrones. I, I don't think it's really like Game of Thrones, but it is good. I love it. You will like it too. Vikings. Vikings is also a good show. You guys know I love Ragnar and Lagertha and Vikings. And I never do reviews on Vikings because every time I do, it gets taken down. Vikings doesn't let me do reviews on Vikings, but it's a good show. Castle Rock. Castle Rock is a Hulu original that's based in the Stephen King universe. It's creepy as hell, weird as fuck. It's Stephen King. You'll be having to try to figure out what's going on all the time. I mean, what else do you need to know? It's fucking Stephen King. Let's talk about some movies, though. So some movies that are absolutely on my must watch list. I'm going to start with the movies that are available on Netflix. So The King. The King is a really good movie. It's the lead up and battle of Agincourt from English history. And those battle scenes were off the meat rack like they were insane they were game of thrones level battles and well at least the battle of agincourt was another netflix movie is the irishman the irishman is an almost four hour movie about mob hitman frank sheeran and the disappearance of jimmy hoppa it's excellent robert de niro al pacino joe pesci and martin scorsi if you like movies like goodfellas and casino it's that vibe so you will most likely like the Irishman. See, I love these kind of movies. So why we're on these type of movies, some other must see movies on Netflix in this same type of category is a classic blow. Blow is based on a true story. It follows the rise of Boston George from like hippie pot dealer to cocaine kingpin, his entire rise and fall. Paid in Full is also another classic that's on Netflix. It's based on a true story out of Harlem, New York. It follows this guy, Ace, as he goes from like dry cleaner to drug kingpin. It includes the murder of Rich Porter, which was a real life murder. Like so this story has been fictionalized, but it's a very good movie and it's a classic. Another classic on Netflix is an old movie. It came out in 1989. 
And it's called Harlem Nights. Harlem Nights is a comedy set in Harlem in the 30s. It stars Red Fox, Richard Pryor, and Eddie Murphy. But it's basically another Harlem underworld tale with mobsters and gangs, but it's fucking funny. And if you never saw the movie Life, it's not on Netflix with Martin Lawrence and Eddie Murphy and Bernie Mac. That is like one of my favorite movies of all times. I watch it like multiple times a year and laugh like it's the first time I fucking seen it. Netflix has some good documentaries right now. The Aaron Hernandez documentary was good and a really good one that I binged was The Keepers. It's seven episodes about this unsolved murder of sister Kathy Sesnick. This happened in Baltimore. There was like sexual abuse allegations it involved the catholic church it's insane also i recommend um don't fuck with the cats it was another good documentary but i hated having to see some of the scenes it was literally the most uncomfortable thing i've watched ever but it shows how these amateur sleuthers from the internet track down this murderer online another thing i watch all the time it's like my unspoken obsession is 90 day fiance Bruh, this show is crazy. I love it. Like the people meet people online and bring them to America or vice versa. And we watch them like live their 90 days before they have to get married. I also really, 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 really like Live PD. I mean, these are shows that just are usually extremely hilarious and they're not supposed to be like they're not. They just have their like really funny moments. (laughs) So if you have time to waste, which everyone apparently does and they don't know what to do with it then 90 day fiance and live pd thank me later you guys also know i love the show you you it follows this sick ass psycho joe goldberg as he stalks women and does weird shit including murder ozarks ozark is one of my favorite shows season three actually came out today and if you haven't watched ozarks what the fuck are you doing so ozark stars jason bateman and his family jason plays marty bird who is a money launderer it's a drama that follows his family as they move from chicago to the ozarks and they're basically going toe-to-toe with the mexican drug cartel they got some rednecks and they some other crazy shit the shit is crazy and i think you will like it another show that is really good in my opinion was Watchmen. Watchmen is kind of an adaptation of the 1986 graphic novel of the same title. It's kind of like a superhero show like kind of and it's the project from the creators of Lost. Lost is another show that's worth watching. Lost basically follows the survivors of a plane crash on an island. It's really it's really 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 fucking good and don't google ahead. Don't google ahead for spoilers. Try to figure it out while you're watching it because I was so confused there is so much good stuff to watch on tv at the moment pick a show binge it and enjoy the ride stay in the house wash your hands listen to what the people are telling you to do and if you don't want to watch no tv shows you don't want to i'm gonna give you a list of shit to do in another video okay i love you guys stay safe Thanks for watching. Thanks to everyone that supports me on Patreon. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please click that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and join the sweet summer family. Okay, my sweet summer children, have a good day.